since we are out here on an adventure right now and so far it's been it's been a good good adventure oh yeah so we're actually at roosevelt state park right, right. roosevelt right. state park is in mississippi um and we're just chilling we rented a tent from tinder not tinder tinder that's a website they have like a lot of tents all over the you know united states it looks like in state yeah. parks super cool little setup we have some neighbors but they're on the other side of the hill. So this is our hill right here. <laughs> we own this hill. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some plans. We're gonna try to go kayaking one day. Yeah. Maybe try to play some tennis. We got bikes. We're gonna ride our bikes. We saw a big dog. Yeah, we're gonna go find that dog. And pet it. Yeah. That's it's our plan. We'll we'll see if we can get on it. So we'll see what all happens. Will we make it up this hill? <laughs> we've been hiking for almost three hours now. How many miles do you think Shut we've gone? Up. We've not been hiking for three miles. No, we've probably gone close to a mile though. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna lose some weight this trip, but baby. But this hill, this hill, this hill, it's, it's what's gonna do it. This hill is what's gonna do it. We're about to get pulled <laughs> over by the police. You see him uh -oh, behind? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, boy. You gonna say what? It's too bright that way, I can't see. <laughs> Well, we have made it to the tennis courts. Woo! We survived the big hill. Lacey's about to get demolished. Um, comment down below. Team Lacey, Team Mila. I don't have a permit for these guns at the park, so I'm gonna wait till the ranger. <laughs> we just played our first warm-up game. Tell them, babe. You know who won? It was Lacey. Lacey <laughs> won the warm-up game, but I wasn't warm. <laughs> So now he's warm. Now he's warm. We'll see. We'll see. So now we're gonna go into the first game. See who wins. That one didn't count as a warm-up. Whatever. Oh, okay. Woo! oh shoot. Sorry. This is Lacey Bowles and I'm here with Elon Bowles today. And we're gonna interview him after this match. Um how do you feel after this match? No comment. Do you feel like you've gotten better or worse as this next season approaches? No comment. Last question. Um, are you warm? Are you warmed up? No comment. No comment. Ready? Yep. Watch this back in. Eli Bowles here with uh, Lacey Bowles. Let me ask you something. Are you warmed up? Yeah, I am. You know, sometimes you just have to give one to them, you know, just to keep them interested in the game. You know, you don't, I don't want to, like, you know, just crush his whole, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we are the champions. Speech, speech, speech. Um, I beat Lacey, like, seven times. I would like to thank my friends, my family, and my wife. I would like to thank um, <clears throat> Lacey, because she's hot. Thank you. I would like to thank my arm <laughs> for swinging the racket. All right, good. all right, we're actually running out of time on here, I'm sorry. Right. We're currently trying to make it over this power line right here. All right, babe. Not even close. All right, guys, the tennis match is over for today. We're gonna start the four mile. Uh, I mean, six miles. Was it six miles or four yeah, miles? Yeah, it's about fourteen actually. We're starting the fourteen mile yeah. hike back to the camp. So. But it's all downhill, so. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Got some chili cheese dogs tonight. Let's see what they look Comment down below. Are you mayonnaise on one side of the bun or mayonnaise on two sides of the bun? We are two sides of the bun kind of people. Look at that. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Gotta love mayonnaise. Sorry for the mayonnaise haters out there. Finished product. Some chili cheese dogs. Time for some s'mores. We got the Reese's. We got the Hershey's. We got the Graham. Mm -hmm. And something new I'm trying. 
I'm gonna use some chocolate chip cookies instead of graham crackers. Figure if you're gonna be it's unhealthy, be let's go all out, you know what I mean? It's gonna be good. We'll see. So guys, this is week seven of living in the tent. <laughs> 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 no, we've been here we've been here one night and uh, it wasn't a bad night. There was a storm that came through. Yeah. But the tent stood up. Still standing. So it's a lot of rain last night, but it was good because we actually um, listened to rain noises whenever we go to sleep on our what's it Google yeah, thing. That's right. Eli actually said, "Hey Google, play rain noises." It was <laughs> the highest it's ever been. It was pretty great. It was pretty good. Uh, surround sound last night. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So today we got some plans made. What are we looking at today? Well, we don't, we think that we have plans made. We're going to try to kayak. We don't even know if we can. We saw people kayaking yesterday, but they, I think they're like personal kayaks. We're going to try to kayak. And then we will probably play Tennessee and I'll probably beat Eli many more times. Um, just because that's just how things are typically. I'm definitely the more um, dominant one whenever She's it comes to sports. Sure. And so, yeah. I'm a little bit of a nerd. Kind of. He's the nerd. I played a lot of video games. For sure, for sure. Um, um, and then we hopefully we'll ride bikes later on. I'm kind of a chicken. I don't want to ride bikes right now because it's like wet and loose gravel, and I'm just scared. We didn't get helmets, so you guys make sure you get helmets for your yeah, bikes. Yeah, wear helmets because you could die. <laughs> Biking is dangerous. Yeah. So wear helmets. We're gonna get some eventually. But right now we don't have any. Yeah, we're living life on the wild side. Yeah. So I don't recommend. No. Obey your parents. Eat your vegetables. Wear a helmet when you ride a bike. Right. Do a courtesy flush when you're in the bathroom. Okay. All right, guys. So we'll give you some more updates later on through the day. All right. So as you know, it rained last night, so we're just kind of chilling. Went down on the deck and walked around the tennis court trying to dry yet so I can't whoop you up in tennis yet but as we're driving by he remembers being a kid and you were how old babe? I was about 11 or 12 years old and we went to the park there was some monkey bars like those monkey bars out there <laughs> and all the other kids could just like let their feet dangle you know they could go on the monkey bars right but I was so tall that I couldn't so I would just like try to do the monkey bars my feet would be like dragging the ground and stuff. I just remember being really bummed out about that. He would have to crawl his feet. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's absolutely hilarious. I mean, you know, they should make monkey bars higher. I mean, they really you have should. to think about There was a few really kids. good parks. It has to be know? inclusive, okay? Not all kids are five feet tall, you know? Like, some kids are 6'2 at the age of 12. So they should you they should Life could, isn't fair. They should it's a today. We just biked 30 miles all the way through the park, through the actual mountains. No, not really, but not it was a very long way. It was very hot and it was all impacted up here. But we're here to look at the scenic overlook. And if you see that above us, that's what we're about to climb. So we just love. Update, there were no kayaks. So we biked, climbed a, we'll call it a watchtower, and there was a family of walls, a whole community, a whole town of walls up there, so we left quickly, and then uh, we laid out, and then... Got a little sunburn. Mm -hmm. And we never found the dog. Yeah, that big dog was gone. We never got to pet it. Sad face. This is me. This is me. And we're back at the tennis court where Eli is gonna get his butt tore up. Round two. Let's see what we got today. This is the final day of the camping trip. Sad face. But it's been very, very good. So unfortunately we didn't get to kayak. Yeah. We never found the big dog. But we did everything else we wanted to do. We played tennis. 
Yeah. Rubber lot. bites. Who got beat yesterday when they were updating John? But who won? I did. Once. No, twice. Yeah, I won twice. But I won three times, so. Yeah, we played four matches, had to have a tiebreaker, so. <laughs> but it's alright. It's alright. It's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Well, we did meet a bunch of other doggies. We met Jax. We met Daisy. Daisy. Daisy's a little feisty. A little feisty. She's a poodle. Oh, she's a little red bunch. She's respected. Um, took a semi-cold shower. It was hot for a little bit. Supposedly. My showers were sure. warm the whole time. Every though. time the shower really was warm. can't complain about the showers. They were, they were pretty warm. Must be nice. Yeah, great weather last night. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Mm. It's cold this morning. But it felt good. Just means extra snuggling. So we got one more stop plan on the way home. Lacey's favorite. Drum roll, please. Crawfish. We're going to Hillahatchee to eat at Crawbillies. Crawbillies. We never ate there, but with a name like that. Crawfish. I'm not really a big fan of crawfish, but I hear their burgers really good. So we're going to see. I'm about to eat my weight plus his weight. Crawfish. I did Eli's devotional with him this morning about um, it was James 5. Yeah, 1 through 6. 1 through 6. And we we're just talking about like what we got out of it. Out of it. His devotional is really cool. It makes you like think really hard. But um, one thing that we're going to try to strive to do is so every time we read a part of the passage, you have to like do an attainable goal and so our goal today is to value a stranger over our agenda the passage was on um, valuing people over things as a, a warning to the rich and also encouragement to the poor um, but the the really meat that we got out of it was to value people over things and agendas and so we're gonna take some time out of our agenda today and try to talk to somebody and see see how they're doing check up on them I think a lot of times we're all doing just fine. Right. And, and we're really? Yeah, we're really not. Yeah. So I think it's important as Christians not to just be okay with that. I'm not saying that we're going to go harass somebody until they tell us right. what's, go <laughs> what's going on in their life. But I mean, um, it's important just to not just take, oh, I'm, I'm doing fine. Like, are you really? You know? Um, or that like, hey, how are you? And then you keep walking. You don't actually stop. Yeah, you don't. Response, you know? Yeah, when we want to be better than that, I feel like Jesus was better than that. So, Agreed. so we're gonna try to do. <laughs> we encourage you to do the same. We'll see you guys at Crawbillies. We're here at the Crawbilly. <laughs> we just placed an order a minute ago. Lacey got her crawfish and I got the burger. It smells like it's gonna be busted. So we're excited. I'm pumped. It's a cool little place. We took a video of the inside. Did you get the inside and the outside? It looks really cool. Very aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Place. A bunch of little random knickknacks. Absolutely busting. And then Lacey getting her crawfish. <laughs> so what do you think? How's the crawfish? So good. 10 out of 10. Gosh, Lacey just ate three pounds of crawfish. All of that. How do you feel? My lips are on fire.